It is the Wednesday evening edition of Weather for Weather Geese. This is the geekiest, most detailed weather forecast video you're going to find anywhere across our region, uh, specifically eastern Ohio, western PA as well. And sometimes, of course, we talk about national weather stories, and sometimes we get out into astronomy topics and even geology topics and things like that. But tonight's video is pretty much just focused on our local weather, both in the short term and the long range. But before we get to the forecast, let's look backwards again. A couple of days ago, I told you about uh, one of the biggest springtime snowstorms on record for our, our area 35 years ago in early April of 1987. Well, it was not snow, but it was heat on this date in 2010. 12 years ago, it was one of the hottest April days on record. We had 87 degrees 12 years ago on today's date. A record high by a good 6 degrees. The, the second place uh, record high temperature for today's date is 81. And it's pretty remarkable that one of the warmest uh, April days occurred so early in the month, only the sixth day of April. Uh, we had some serious heat 12 years ago. You can get a little bit of any, everything and anything at this time of the year. We can have snow. We can have temperatures like that, even though, again, it's kind of rare. 60 degrees was our high locally today at the Youngstown Warren Airport in Vienna. 67 up in Erie with a what we call a downsloping wind. When you get kind of a southwesterly wind into Erie, the air comes descending off the higher terrain just to the south of Erie, PA, and you get a a, uh, a warmer temperature as a result. It's all about the wind direction, of course, near Lake Erie. When the wind's out of the north, Erie is freezing cold, as is places like Sandusky and Cleveland and, and places like that. But so when you have a southwesterly wind, and especially with all the hilly terrain that uh, is just south of Erie, you can get uh, downsloping and warming, and that was one of the warm spots as a result today. Between the showers we had last evening and a little bit of rain that is falling out there tonight, here's a look at some uh, actual rain gauges over the last 24 hours across our area. Generally, the highest amounts, uh, southeastern Columbiana County over to Beaver County into southeastern Lawrence County amounts quite a bit less, by about half at least, uh, once you get up into Mahoning County and especially up into the I-80 corridor and points north in Trumbull and Mercer so far. Now that's going to change as we head through the evening as more rain heads our way. The system has kind of slowed its roll a little bit, and so we've slowed down the rain in our forecast for tonight, and it'll stick around not only through the evening, but a couple of hours past midnight as well. Uh, this cooler air out across the Midwest, it's got a one-way ticket in our direction. It'll be heading here at the end of the week and into the weekend. It's only 38 this evening in Minneapolis, 42 in Dubuque. And that's Ghost of Christmas Future around here. I wanted to focus for a moment on the southern U.S. Miami, Florida had a heat index this afternoon over 100, which is remarkable for early April. And the dew point at Miami International Airport, 76 degrees. Now, we wouldn't think much of this in July or August. It would still be stinking hot and humid, but not crazy unusual at that time of the year in early April. That's pretty ridiculous stuff. So uh, kind of an anomalously, anomalously hot and humid air mass across southern Florida this evening. North of there, where a front is pushing in, we have another risk of severe weather this evening in Georgia. They had a busy evening last evening. Same areas into, into uh, South Carolina as well. And uh, there's actually a little lightning and thunder as far north as the Ohio River this evening. Not expecting any thunder and lightning in our neck of the uh, woods. Showers will stick around for the evening. And then taper from west to east as we head through the overnight. As most people head off to work and school tomorrow morning, kind of like this morning, will be largely dry with a little bit of sunshine in the mix as well. Rainfall expectations, uh, probably about a half an inch on average. Between a quarter of a half an inch, I'll say, with most places closer to a half an inch over the next 12 hours. And then we'll add a little bit to this both Thursday and Friday. You'll notice our lines don't move much on any of our models Thursday and Friday. This will be real scattered popcorn shower activity that will not bring a tremendous amount of rain to any one location. Unlike this evening, it's kind of a steady rain for a lot of the next several hours. A little sunshine tomorrow, but it's what we call self-destructive sunshine tomorrow with the cold air mass aloft pushing in. The more sun we have, the more the sun will heat the ground, the ground will heat the air, air parcels will start to rise, you get more clouds, you get more precipitation. It's kind of a what we call self-destructive process. So more sunshine equals more clouds later. Um, and a higher chance for wet weather during the afternoon. So scattering of showers for our Thursday afternoon, and then uh, ugh, clammy and chilly on Friday. May start out dry, but I think there'll be numerous showers around Friday afternoon with this trough of low pressure pivoting in. 
Might be some grapple or soft hail uh, mixed in with these showers. I guess I wouldn't be shocked if we had a couple of lightning strikes out there. I mean, it's going to be really unstable, this air mass, on Friday. Very cold air upstairs. Now, here at the ground, it'll be in the upper 40s on Friday. But you don't have to head uh, above our heads too far to find temperatures way below freezing. And from the ground on up Saturday morning, it's going to be close to freezing or below freezing. And I, that'll support, I think, a couple of snowflakes Saturday morning. Probably not going to stick to anything, but... Uh, flurries, snow showers, Saturday morning and probably later Saturday night into Sunday morning as well. It's all underneath this big Mondo upper level low and trough of low pressure, which will hang out for a couple of days. Notice uh, the ridge by this weekend popping across the upper Midwest. It will come east next week, and that'll be responsible for our all too brief warm up during the middle of next week. So this is a little less than a week from now, early next week. Uh, nice little ridge popping over uh, areas east of the Mississippi, especially. The trough digs in out west, very cold and stormy in the western U.S. for a change. This pattern is not going to stick, though. It would be nice if this pattern would just stick for a couple of weeks and spring could really kick in in full force. doesn't appear to be the case, though. That trough in the west is going to lift out. This will probably be a big severe weather week next week across the uh, Midwest and especially down into the southern plains and kind of traditional tornado alley. Uh, too, soon, too soon to say if we uh, have any severe weather risks around here during the second half of next week. Might be something we'll be watching out for, but either way, this colder air mass that will probably trigger severe weather along its leading edge is going to come east, and so we're not going to see 70 on Easter, it looks like. I think uh, temperatures, instead of the 60s and 70s by Easter weekend, <laughs> probably below average, probably not as cold as this upcoming weekend. I doubt we'll see snowflakes and temperatures in the 30s and 40s over Easter weekend, but all indications are that Easter will feature temperatures below average this time around. So Easter coming up in, what, about 10 or 11 days. That'll do it for me tonight on Weather for Weather Geeks. Thank you, as always, for watching, for following me on all my social media. We're still working on getting my access back to my Facebook page. But, of course, uh, follow me on, uh, on YouTube, on Instagram, and Twitter as well. And uh, have a great rest of your Wednesday night.